Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sadie and today I'm finally going to be testing out the Mama Mama Mitchell Mini Volume 1 palette and I'm actually going to be testing out some of the blushes. Um, I ordered these around val like Valentine's Day I think when he had a bit of an offer on so I've been holding on these for the past practically two months to review them. I haven't touched them, I mean I swatched them, I mean who wouldn't but um, yeah. So before we get started please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, it'll help me out a lot. Really, really appreciate it. Make a girl happy. Also, don't forget to give me a nice big thumbs up. It makes me, it lets me know basically what you guys like to see, what you guys don't like to see. And if you like so I've done this look, then keep on watching. Okay, I've got my eyes primed using the Beauty Bay Eye Base in shade two. I really, really like this, but do let it set just a little bit because it is extremely tacky. Um, but yeah, I've really grown to like this a lot. The first shade we're going to go in with is Walter's Box, which is a sort of great transition nude shade, and I'm going in with R37. And I basically just like popped it through my crease and smoked it out a little bit. Just like so, this is such a pretty transition shade just for ev every day as well. I then picked up an Urban Decay Smoky Crease Brush, so it's still quite nice and fluffy, it's just a little bit smaller. And I took the shade halfway, which is like this medium neutral brown. And I basically like tucked it into my crease first. Just like so, just literally chuck it on there first. And then went back in with that first brush and just blended it out. This is just a really nice, quick, simple look. Um, I didn't want to go too extra just because I just wanted it quite nice and simple. And I'm pretty sure I use every single shade, I think. I think. And I just went in with this is just like a no brand, but it's just like a, a flat shader brush. And I took the shade Coco Pop. I'm going to show my mirror. Which is this one. It's not a black, but it is. It's like a deep grey, I'd almost say. And I basically tucked that right in my crease. As you can see, I'm not being careful at all. I didn't really want it to be super, super clean, just like so. I did take the open brush with halfway on it and I just blended that out. Okay, then I just took like a flat shader brush, this is like a cheap anyway one, and I took the shade Snow Coat, which is this beautiful icy blue, and I sort of just popped that in the inner corner part. So I haven't cut my crease or anything, I'm literally just chucking it on just up to my crease area. Just like so. Same brush, I'm gonna take, is it Mermich or anyone? Yeah, Mermich, which is this blue. Really coat that on my brush. And I did go in with a bit of setting spray for this one. And I basically just popped it all over the rest of my lid. And mixed it in with that snow cone shade. This is such a beautiful color. Did just go back in with that Cocoa Pop shade and just blended it on the outer part then. So I'm just taking a Morphe R41 brush. Oh my god, this was going on my face. I'm sorry. Right. And I'm taking the shade Apple Tie. I was going to say, I'm going to say that right, which is this beautiful lime green. Same with this one. I'm going to use setting spray. Also, I'll give my thoughts on that at the end with all of this palette. So I don't want to say anything right now. And I'm going to pop that in my inner corner. 
And then I just took another cheap flat brush and I took the shade Sour, which is the purple, and I popped that just underneath my waterline. Then I just went in with a Morphe R573 and I took the shade Shy Tie. I hope I'm saying that right, probably not. And just done like a really quick blend underneath. Nothing special. You do have to go back in with Sour when you do this bit though, so I did go back in with that just to intensify it a little bit more. Then I took another brush, this is just like a flat Urban Decay brush, and I took the shade Wap Pink or Wap Pink, I don't know. And I just sort of tucked it in this part here in my inner corner sort of tear duct area that's literally the eyeshadow that's all i done so i am going to add a quick liner and put some mascara on Alright, so this is what it looks like we have lashes on. I'm using the Girls of Attitude Mermaid ones. I absolutely love these lashes. Um, so yeah, I might put a line liner on, but I kind of like it quite nice and bright. So I'm just going to quickly do my base and we'll get on with the blushes. It feels so weird to say that. I did pick up the whole set, so I do have the six. So I've got Rosy Posy, which is this pink. Sweet Cheeks, which is a brighter pink. Where's the SPF, which is this iconic red. Uh, Cherry Cola. Uh, mango daiquiri which I love the colour of and peach sugar and um, I bought all these on Valentine's Day I think because even though the bundle is an offer you put more off it so it maybe you want to buy it so I think I paid 50 quid for all six of them which I think is really really good um, what colour should, should I go for I feel like I can do two on my cheeks I think I'm going to start off with peach sugar first I haven't obviously set my base or anything I actually want to try it on one side not done and then this side I'll do it oh my god get your words right one side I'll do it unpowdered the other side I'll do it with powder on so I'll do this side with it not being powdered so I'll pop a few dots here uh, I think this is better with a brush isn't it so I think I'm just going to take my foundation brush and blend it out oh god that's way too much oh I don't know I quite like that kind of like a 80s vibe right there. That's blended out really nicely though. I want a bit too overboard but that's okay. Well there's me saying I wanted to go in too but I might go with a bit more of a darker one actually. I think I'm actually going to take a bit of cherry cola and just put on the end bit. So I've got way too much on that and again. Just deepen it here. Oh. That's a really nice combo. Oh my god, I love that. The little goes a long way. That is very, very pigmented. Very nice. So that's what it looks like on um, not powdered skin. So my foundation is still wet and that's blended in really nicely. But we'll see what the test is when I do it on a powdered side. So let me just quickly do the rest of my base and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's what it looks like with powder on top. And I even put my blush on. Um, no, no. My bronzer on top and I blended really, really nice. I also powdered with the Jeffree Star Luminous Powder because I love it. So I'm going to do exactly the same what I've done. So I'm going to put peach sugar here, roughly around the same amount. Can I just say that these are really, really creamy to feel, like to the touch? Is that more? Pop in some cherry cola back here. I really, really like this side. And this side's just. This is my fault because I obviously put too much on this side. So if I didn't put as much product, I think this would look a lot better. I'm going to try and put bronzer on top of this. This could go really wrong. Oh no, it's okay. I mean, it looks bad anyway. 
you need a very little amount. It has slightly picked up product here. To be honest, my skin just looks nicer on this side. Yeah, it's way too pigmented on this side, but it's fine because this is my further side, so it should be all okay. Yeah, I mean, like obviously, it's a liquid on a powder base, so it will probably congeal a little bit more and set a bit more. But I don't know, the more I'm putting powder on it, I like it. Like, it's still fine, it's not terrible. It looks terrible on camera, but it's really not in person. But it looks so much better with it being on top of wet foundation and then a powder on top, 100%. I think it's going to put tad bit i mean like the smallest amount of cherry cola here i've become that person that i really enjoy bronzer on the bottom of my nose right let me chuck some highlighter on i'll chuck a lippy on i'll be back to give you my final thoughts actually these are supposed to be like multi-use so i'm actually going to put one on my lips and see how that works a really nice lip colour. Okay, one thing I'm scared about is that this isn't going to dry down, but it should do, shouldn't it? The reason is because I want to put a gloss on. I was thinking maybe diamond juice. It did pick up candy drip for like a pale colour, but this doesn't feel like it's going to dry down on my lips at all. No, it's got like this amazing like soft matte, like it's sort of like a plush sort of um, lipstick effect but I'm gonna put um diamond juice on by Jeffree Star on top because I just fancy oh gosh. I'm actually gonna put it on my hand because I don't want it. I hate hate products on ones. There we have it guys here's the finished look um I really really like it I mean it's nice and simple but it's still got a pop of colour and it's not too overboard well for me it's not I'd happily go out like people need to realise that this is my like day-to-day -day makeup all right, first impressions of the palette. I do own the first two Head in the Clouds and Feet on the Ground palette, which I absolutely love to pieces. And I've been thinking about wanting to play with them again recently. <laughs> I think this is 20 odd pound, 27, I wanna say, 25. Someone correct me, I can't be honest, look either. Um, but I'll be honest, shimmers in this palette do not perform as well as the original palettes like in the original palettes i didn't have to like wet the shimmers or anything whereas i had to with this they're a little bit more drier they're not as to me anyway they they are drier they're not as creamy as his two first original the mattes blended up really well i will say like i think sour is a little bit hit and miss um i actually did do a look before this and i didn't like it it stained my eyelid and it didn't blend out it was quite patchy but that also could just be my eye base um so yeah like i mean they look great but i had to wet them to get them to perform really good whereas in his original palettes they just they, you don't need to do anything to them do i think it's worth it i don't know about this palette to be honest with you i think it is probably a cohesive palette with the other ones even though i really enjoyed the look that i've created with it um and i mean you can do really nice naturals but i do feel like this is probably gonna be better used with like head in the clouds and feet on the ground palette personally for me um would i recommend it not really i think if you're gonna get a palette i'd get his other two i bought it for the blues let's be honest all right the blushes i hate saying that word i don't know why it just doesn't i don't know it gives me the shits i think no that's me being really mean um for the bundle for what i paid for totally worth it i don't think i would pay 70 quid for all six of these i'm really excited because i know he's coming out with bronzer in that one so i will definitely be picking up one of them but i have to admit even on this side it is quite a lot and i went a bit overboard i still really like it but on this side i adore it obviously it's my first time trying it i didn't know how pigment they were going to be i know i've seen some people's reviews and they like a little goes a long way but it's sort of tempting to just put loads of dot on your face dots so I really, really love it on this side. Like, I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I think it looks fine on this side if I really wanted to go heavy with a look, you know, sort of like the 80s vibe, but I still really like it. Obviously, I only tried three colors. I mean, quite big ones, but I feel like they're more adventurous for me. Like, I, I'd like to do more of like an 80s or like a really flamboyant um, look to really, really go all out with these blushes. But yeah, super duper creamy. You don't need a lot of them. Um, I really, really like these and I feel like these will probably become a huge staple because I never feel like I have enough blushes in my collection. So 
and I mean like I don't have a bright orange in that so there's definitely a great range I know he's coming out with more so I would recommend these 100% there we have it guys I really really hope you enjoyed this video please before we go don't forget to give me a nice big thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button it'll help me out a lot join the family if you really like my makeup tutorials reviews that's literally all I do basically it would help me out a lot and I'd really really appreciate it and um yeah I hope to see you in the next video bye